Bracing for next summer's Olympic frenzy, China's capital is on an aggressive self-improvement plan, and the city's air is one of the main targets. Cars have already been taken off the road for weeks at a time, but part of the problem will not be a quick fix. Pollution is not the only thing clouding the skyline. It's dust. On the other side of the country, China's huge grasslands are in trouble. Drought and overgrazing have left some parts nearly bare. Dirt blows across the naked land, hitting Beijing with massive dust storms that blot out the sun and choke the city. Here in Hohat, Inner Mongolia's capital, thousands of scientists and researchers have been working on the problem since the early 90s. Hohat has nearly doubled in size and population in the last seven years as people move to the city from the grasslands and try to find a way to make a new life and keep up with fading Mongolian traditions. It's not always pretty. A few hours out of town, Mongolia's nomadic history has been spun into roadside tourist attractions. City types from all over China come to get a taste of how herdsmen used to live, but in real life, herding sheep, goats, and cattle has gotten harder. Many herders have also been retrained as farmers, part of the government's plan to keep the number of animals on the land down. And now climate change has picked up where sheep and goats left off. And less and less plants on the land means not only less money for the herders, it means a disappearing home for other species that live in the millions of acres that turn to desert every year. Outside Hohat, these students at Inner Mongolia Agricultural University are trying to find ways to rebuild the grasslands in hotter, drier weather. Hello, my name is Tana. <laughs> this is my um, scientific research. Tana is growing imported plants that she hopes might do better in the tough environment. And other students on her team have been watching grass under infrared lights to see how the different plant species react. The lights have been keeping the ground two degrees hotter than normal. This is a patch of land that has been stuck under the infrared, and this is land that hasn't. Neither are in great shape, but the differences are clear. Uh, the precipitation is uh, uh, very small in this grasslands, and the, uh, that, uh, those, year, those two years is drought year, and so the grassland conditions very bad. Uh, under the glo global warming, maybe the grassland uh, have a uh, different change with uh, the normal temperature. As Inner Mongolia continues to heat up, students and the government are going to have to keep looking for answers. In the end, the lives of the people who haven't packed it up and left for the city will depend on it. And so will the view in Beijing. This is Chris Tamar reporting for Time.com.